Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for stopping by. See, I was going to do this intro when I was about to leave my house, but Right, uh, six months after Nigeria's Taekwondo Olympic medal hopeful Elizabeth Ayana Acho presents her qualification plaque to the Minister of Sports a Sunday Diary. It is on that note that I welcome you to Sports Unlimited on NTA News 24, where we take you on a trip around the world of sports. My name is Victor Azu and Esther Ogala joins me on this occasion. Good to see you. Good to see you too, Victor. Well, as the uh, football leagues began at the weekend and um, sporting activities are beginning to hot up, I'm sure you are catching up with them. Really, yes, of course we are. Um, COVID-19 really, really deprived us of something we really love, you know, which is sport. Sport has been... Uh, a way of bringing live hope to so many and with the comeback we are super excited all right how excited we are and uh, we will begin with tennis i didn't even plan as in i wore this coat tiny boat inside the taxi five guys calves like guy look front make sure you don't look back that's how i trained my clothes wore my lashes did all this all this slaying <laughs> After 20 minutes, as in who does that? I did, yeah. So clap for me, just clap for me. I'm going to use this opportunity to encourage everyone out there that is protesting virtually or physically. The change has to happen now. Now is the time. I know that it is not convenient for so many of us, but it has to be done. We should endure. See, I'm not complaining. I cannot complain. Today, the way I was able to get out to work, Thanks to one bike man, like cars, vehicles were moving for like three hours. I had to come down and get a bike. So this bike took one route, so I don't even understand. Bush. But thank God, though, your girl is safe. I'm very, very fine, you know, but still on steel. I need you all to keep pushing. NSAS, this is beyond NSAS. We want a system that works. We want security reform, education reform, good wage. You know, so that living condition in this country can be okay for everybody. And I'm going to tell my children this was when Nigeria gained independence. And hopefully, this protest doesn't just fall on the deaf end on the part of the government. They do something and they are guys. I they hish. If you know what that means in Nigeria, I am hungry. I am hungry. Your girl is hungry. So um, I am at GNC restaurant slash supermarket. I'm about to take something for the road, one for the road, you know, and head back to work. It's like past five right now, but then I still have so many things to do. I have to get back to work. I have reports to do and stuff, stuff, stuff. But yeah, guys, I'll see you. Enough talking.
honestly this is one part i do not enjoy getting home late now it's like past 11 and having to wake up early the next morning thank goodness i was able to grab grocery because weekend is not even guaranteed adaptability and time consciousness are skills you need to enjoy journalism see you in my next one